Hi bestie, welcome back to the channel. I'm at the end of my thesis project for my masters and I'm feeling a little bit stuck. I don't know if it's because this is supposedly the last project I'll get to my creative freedom or it's your good old friend burnout. If you can relate, today's video is about seven sites for architectural inspiration. Six are digital and one is physical. These are the sites that give me visual inspirations for my diagrams, renders, drawings as well as ideas on how to design and stay tuned to the end of the video for details on the giveaway and let's just get started this is by far my favorite site at the moment for architectural inspiration. Divisaire is a place to perceive architecture slowly, without distractions. There's no click, there's no tweets, advertising, pop-ups. There's just architecture and contemporary, high-quality architecture, no less. So it's different from the usual websites for architecture focused on what's new, what's trending, what's the, the best architectural project of this time. Divisaire is more about absorbing architecture slowly. Their model is more of a bookcase and every project, every collection, it tells a particular story. So you can also filter your search by elements, cities, ideas, materiality, designers, details, and so much more. And I personally love the section on ideas because it's a huge database of different concepts that I would not have known about without this site. So I definitely, definitely recommend that you check this site out. Atlas of Places, Academia, Architecture, Cartography, Cinema, Essays, Painting, Photography and Research are all represented in the Atlas of Places. The goal is to raise questions about the nature of places and I personally love using it for photography and precedent research, seeing how other people present their precedent studies and their analysis of different places in the world. Professor Tom Emerson, who is the co-founder of 6A Architects in London, leads the studio Tom Emerson, a design and research studio in the Department of Architecture at ETH Zurich, focusing on the reuse and bricolage of architecture and the narrative of history. And he has worked on a number of collaborative projects, full-scale building projects, built and designed by students, as well as surveys and site studies of post-industrial cities, since 2010 and I absolutely love their site as you will find thought-provoking articles, drawings and also photography. I've mentioned precedent medals before on the channel but there is no way it will not be included in this video which is all about architectural inspiration. If you don't know, the precedent medals are the RIBA's oldest award and they are regarded as the most prestigious prize in architectural education globally. The quality of the work, the concepts, the visuals is truly, truly inspiring. A trick that I've been doing lately, if I needed more information on the project, I would do a little bit of investigation. So I would search the name of the author on Google. Google and also the name of the project and sometimes they've uploaded the entire portfolio on issue or on their own portfolio website and I even found the actual author of one project creating a lecture and talking about it on YouTube. I truly understood her project and I totally recommend that you do that trick. A Tumblr site called Drawing Architecture, which I found quite recently as I was looking for hybrid or multi-perspective drawing. So this site is amazing if you would like to spice up your presentations and not stick to your standard plan sections and elevation, you know? So this is an example of a plan that you would find on the site. Not only is it a plan, but it's also internal elevations. And we do these types of drawings at my school and we call this one a fold-out plan. And it's super helpful for understanding your building at multiple views or registers. Arc Daily is the most popular and widely read digital architecture publication. News, projects, interviews, events, and competitions are all shared on this website. It's also a terrific place to keep up with what's going on in the industry, look at projects for inspiration, find a job, or maybe even enter architectural competitions. The next source of inspiration is architectural competitions and I really enjoy looking at those because you get to see how different people 
and designers solve a design issue. But now I never had a dedicated book for architectural competitions. I used to go to the library and skim through books and find inspirations that way. Or I would look online for architectural competitions, but it was always so difficult to find them. So I'm really, really happy to receive this architectural competitions yearbook, which is volume number three. Now this isn't the first time that I've spoken about this book. I've shared the first one, and also the second one. Now, if you don't know what these books are, they are basically yearbooks showing the best competitions of the past year. They also show you the first, second, and third prize winners, as well as the project brief, diagrams, renders, the boards, and so much more. They go in depth for every single competition, showcasing the brief so you understand the project requirement, and then they show you the first, second, and third prize winners board, and also a short description of their project and their overall ideas and theme. And then this is by far my favorite spread, which is the honorable mention, which again, it's 10 different ideas around a certain theme or topic. And then afterwards are a few pages illustrating and documenting how the designers won that competition. So this is incredible and extremely huge because you can kind of see and tap into their minds and figure out why did they win that way you can achieve a similar result either in your design projects at school or if you are designing for competitions as well i want to highlight a competition today which is called reuse the roman ruin and i am not even exaggerating or joking with you the minute i received this book i was in shock because the first competition i opened which is this one reuse the roman ruin it was so similar to the thesis project that I'm designing at university and he extremely, extremely helped me. I must have skimmed the whole internet if that's even possible and I could not find a single thing that gave me inspiration or sparked joy. I feel like I was just so wrapped up in my own head and my own problems and when I saw this competition, it really resonated with me because I'm doing something similar about treating a ruin and combining old and new and I could not find any precedence. So when I found this competition, I was over the moon and I also really enjoyed how they've captured the project, the certain diagrams they did. I'm in the middle of creating those for my own projects, so I cannot thank the team for this yearbook enough. At the start of the book, there's also three interviews with different architectural teams and there's also a section on how they won that or how they approached a design and that way you get behind the scenes of the academic world and competitions and also the professional world. I find that quite interesting because you get to see how the real world designs. You know, us students, we don't have as many constraints as the professional world and they deal with a lot of policies and regulations and all that kind of stuff. So, so you get to see how they handle that as well as design a winning project and as well you will find lots of advice tips and suggestions in those texts as for the giveaway details we are giving away two books for two winners one on instagram and one on youtube i will have all of the rules in the description box and on screen right now Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I'm Rasha Sharuru and I'll see you next time. Bye.